Dark Star, Sunday Red, Tiger Woods announces a new brand. It's not really a lifestyle brand. It's a life brand. It's a life brand. The question that we want to explore today is, does he care? Does he really care about it? And kind of tied to that is, will it succeed? Will it succeed or is this destined to fail? And we're going to go there right now. Do you think Tiger cares? Let's start there. Well, absolutely, Tiger cares. Tiger cares because Tiger's a competitive at everything he does, everything he wants to do. So he wants to be successful. Now, we're going to get in later whether he has a chance of being successful. And, and, and let's be honest. His breakup with Nike was long time coming. And I think this marks my big point here. I think this marks a shift from Tiger the golfer to Tiger the potential head of the PGA Tour, Tiger the entrepreneur, Tiger the businessman, Tiger in competition with Michael Jordan and LeBron James. And this is where he's going to head. Yeah, it's so, all he's got. <laughs> right. Well, the, yeah. The, you know, you got to play the hand that's been dealt you. And he is. Uh... Even without injuries, he's 48, and yeah, you know. The, but he still hits it a mile. I, I, is yeah, the ball juiced? Is the ball juiced? <laughs> is a great yeah. question because question. I can assure uh, you, if they had the 20 top guys come into a room and ask them if it was okay if they let that happen, they would all say fine. Yeah, no doubt in my he mind. He did hit it. Yeah, he did hit the 600 yard par uh, uh, five yesterday at the Genesis. We're coming to you Friday morning. After day one of the Genesis here. Yeah, but let's get right into Sunday Red. Give me your initial thoughts. My initial thought is that Tiger played a juiced ball at Pebble back in the day <laughs> when yeah, he out well. hit everybody by 40 yards and beat the field by a million. So it's okay. not unusual for him to have an equipment advantage as good as he is uh, on the course himself. And of course he is. But it's nice to have a ball that goes way farther than everybody else. Uh, Sunday Red, I think, is the following. I think that Tiger doesn't care. I'm going to take the other side of this from you, and we'll have a healthy debate. I don't think he really cares. Why do I say that? Because I think Nike dumped him. I think Nike, independent of Tiger, pulled the plug on golf because it's a loser for them. They're desperately trying to, always desperately trying to do what Nike is expand their top line revenue, which is hard to do when you're a big giant company in a field that's you know not a big giant market so nike's like a 35 40 billion dollar top line place maybe it's more than that now but not much more and you know moving it 10 percent is really hard um so you know golf's not doing it never has so we're leaving goodbye and that leaves tiger without a partner in apparel which if you're tiger woods with a legion of loyal fans who want to buy an occasional something that says TW on it, you know, you got to have something. So he goes, or he, his team goes and looks for a deal. And interestingly, they end up with who, uh, whom as a partner, Taylor made, Taylor made. Yeah. So it's a cutting edge brand. So they say with a traditional golf equipment company. Mm. And Taylor made, if I'm not mistaken, they were recently purchased by a uh, Korean company from Adidas and that's really the only place where golf is truly g growing in Australia and the Asian Rim. So I, I think it's it could be a good marriage. I'm going to say there's a pot potential there for a revenue stream there. Taylor's um, getting passed around the prom. So no, you're close. Yeah. The Koreans bought Taylor from Adidas, and then the Koreans sold Taylor uh, in well, COVID. That, that business model is a challenge where Taylor comes out with a new driver every year at $600 now, a new ball at Fifty-five dollars a dozen every year. It's it's that's a challenge to keep going. As a, from a business perspective, you're sitting there at the boardroom. That is a challenge. Um, so yeah, and I will say my my one of my main comments here is we have not talked about the logo yet. I think it's the most apropos logo in the history of golf, <laughs> where you have this fossilized tiger sing, symboling the end of his body. It's just you know it's shattered, it's torn, and you just have this skeleton figure. It could be the worst logo, but very apropos I, in the history of sports. It's sort of amazing that they let it go forward because you see on media, they're, of course, they're going to pump his image standing in front of the logo when they announce the whole thing with this red you know, background and then Sunday red in three words and then the, the tiger above that. And so you have tiger's face and, uh, and torso and then this... It, you can't describe it as anything other than a skeletized or a skeleton cat, but I like the word fossil. 
yeah. it's a fossil. And that just, you know, now are the sycophants that love tiger going to care about that? Probably yeah. not, but they might take some shots when they wear that to the first tee. There are buddies in the group who are not sycophants of tiger who appreciate tiger for what he's done yeah. and uh, as good as he is, but are not in love with him as a human. They're going to be like, Hey, I see you got the fossil shirt on. Nice. Nice. <laughs> You know, it's uh, it's not exactly a golden it, bear or a shark. Yeah, it is it is some great irony where you have Tiger and, and and Tiger's always looked like an Adonis, and and we've talked whether he did PEDs or not, but you have this Adonis and Tiger with this fossilized, uh, and I can't even say it's a carcass because there's no there's no meat on that thing at all. So mm -hmm. it's, it's nope. the irony there is it's, it's it's I can see the logo people you know coming back with drafts going oh it's it's so cutting. It's just it's cutting, <laughs> it's edge. cutting edge. We're not going to show any color. It's just going to yeah. be this white skeleton. It's an X-ray. That's what it really is. It's an X-ray. Yeah, it does kind of have that aspect to it. Yeah, I, 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 it'd be interesting to know. It's probably going to be some press somewhere that says what they, what was the design impetus? You know, is it's, I, I'm, it's not bones. It can't be bones or a fossil. I, I'm not sure. It's an abstract version of a tiger. Is probably what they would say, but. I, you know, it's, I, it, it's, it misses the mark there, but let's set that aside. That is funny. Uh, big yeah. question. Next big question is, does tiger care? Does tiger care if this thing succeeds? And now don't get me wrong. If it succeeds, will he be happy? Sure. Does he want it to flame out? No, he doesn't want it to flame out. Does he care? Does he care about it like he cares about winning two more majors? No. Yeah. No. Clearly, no. And maybe you'd say, well, of course, two majors would be... Uh, maybe. He... I think he just wants to have the brand there and, you know, make a few dollars, keep his name in the public eye and all that stuff. So, sure, if it goes along, okay, fine. But I don't think he is deeply committed to this thing. I really don't. Well, the, uh, you know, another another thought here that just popped into my head is the um, rivalry with Greg Norman in the situation where, you know, Greg has a great brand. It's been an enduring brand. And Greg has never brought on other athletes to be part of the Greg Norman brand. Will Tiger not bring on if, 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 if Rory said, hey, Tiger, I love your stuff. Can I wear it? Can can I you know? Can I be a sponsor? Well, can I be part of it? Does Tiger say yes or no? I that's it. Gonna have to pay him, yeah. right? The, the, that's a great him. point. That's a great question. Will Sunday Red go after and uh, deals with players to pay the player to wear the brand? Huh? Yeah, I don't think they will. You know, I, I think all these guys. I think an Adam Scott has so few players. Rory doesn't have really his own brand yet, and he could. Um, but I think Tiger's going to try to make it as a standalone. There, that, That's the main reason I think he does care maybe more than you think he cares. Because this is me. I'm Tiger. I'm still the greatest of all time. And when he looks at himself and says, you know, it's not two majors. It's three. It's three or nothing as far as he's concerned. It's at least tying Nicholas. And I, I, I think the realization, can I get there, is, is, is even fleeting from his mind. Yeah, he's not. It, yeah. Yes, that's all true. Well, it's it's a healthy debate. I don't. I, I just don't. Say, he's got other priorities. This thing, and, and if he's got a half a brain, and I think he does, it's a very difficult market to go and try to make a, a fortune. So probably yeah, not going to happen, right? It's right. It's minuscule compared to basketball, correct. for example, with LeBron or, or, yes. or what Jordan has, where you know yeah. kids are literally literally killing each other for tennis shoes Correct. throughout the world. Absolutely so. right. There are 63 to 77 year old baby boomers in the U S and Europe and Australia and maybe South Africa. Are they lining up to go buy golf shirts at all? No. Why well, I think Nike's dumping the golf. Yeah. If, if golf were great, Nike be there. Nike's the sure. largest company in that space by a factor of five or six. They are much larger than anybody else. Didis being second. And Taylor's not owned by Adidas. Let's remind everybody that, that Taylor's independent now. So Adidas right. didn't pick up Tiger either. It was Taylor made. So the Koreans, and maybe they plan on making some inroads in Korea. Maybe he will do okay there um, with that market. That's with the, awesome. with really right. the lady golfers in Korea is the big sport there. Um, and yes, and Tiger that, is half Asian. Let's not forget that. that yeah, and it doesn't pair up with women very well, I wouldn't think. Um, well, that wouldn't be a natural fit for him. But... 
And my other big question, moving right along, is, is it going to be apparel really? Is it apparel focused? I mean, I don't think of TaylorMade as an apparel first company. It's an equipment first company. Um, golf ball, golf driver, right? Well, they did mention that Sunday Red is going to be a separate business entity within the Taylor brand. So where are they going to go? I think they're going to they're gonna search different avenues till they find one that works. Um, you know, the audience is, is a challenge. Because as you said, I don't buy shirts. The only time I get a new shirt is if I win some pro shop money and, and you know, I don't have anything else to buy at the time. And, you know, so, yeah, it's, it's a very difficult market because you're not who are you marketing to? You're marketing to people that don't buy anything. Exactly. That that's you, let's just keep leaning in on Nike. With they do have a room full of marketers who know know what they're doing, and they dumped it. So it's yeah. you know now you got to have some you know really visionary person that's going to look way over the horizon and say no no no, here's the here is the market. Here is where we're going to take Tiger Woods brand of you know winning. Really, if you th- Tiger's natural brand is winner killer assassin and that's great if you're trying to win an individual sport or be the superstar in your sport uh where would that play potentially well they needed to play down with the 16 17 18 20 year old boys and does he work there versus the competitors the lebrons of the the world and the nfl stars and people like that Mm, no not if you're not winning golf tournaments i wouldn't think so that's why i don't think if he's smart he doesn't care i don't think he'll do well there and then he just looks bad so i it's hard for me to sit in a room with him if i were sitting in a room with him i was his agent i you know if i were stein i'd be like look i don't don't know where we put this thing but it's not going to work for you long term probably unless you know where do you want it you want it on a formula one car i mean where are we going to put this thing this brand I agree. Well, the other problem, it's such a crowded market. As I mentioned off air, I have 20 golf shirts in my closet from companies that no longer make clothing. I I was in a store because I was on vacation. So that's the only time I ever walk through a store is just because you're out to dinner and you walk through a store. And at Brand X had some of their stuff on sale. And I, I went to the sales associate and I said, hey, is all this on sale? She goes, no, just that stuff over there. I said, well, and I thought to my, I said, Nobody's going to buy that. That's the ugly. Those are the ugly. And I said it to myself. Those are really ugly. Mm-hmm. That's why they're on 40% clearance on a name brand that, that everybody wants right now. So, yes, it's a very crowded market. It's going to be a challenge. But I, I think Tiger, at least initially, is going to try to make a horse race of it. And, and I don't know where. I don't know how. It, it, the, the branding is the branding is going to either be a hit or the biggest flop since you know well, coke yeah. came out with a new formula he doesn't he can't he, he's not going to cut into the hip-hop you know rapper segment of the young audience which is hot and you know and there's a lot of you can get a lot of traction there if you're the right person and nike has a huge presence there they're the shoes they're yeah. the shoes part of that ensemble but the rest of it nike doesn't have and then you have various artists who are really have their own clothing and you have the cool sweatsuits and all that other stuff that the kids like to wear. Great. Great. But I don't see tiger anywhere near there and that's not his place. He's a a golfer. I mean, his audience is older period, the bulk of it. And I don't know. That's why, that's why I'm, I'm sort of throwing cold water on this. Um, sorry, tiger. It's, it's not you really. It's just reality. Reality is part of hmm. Part of it is him, and he has become a polarizing figure. You, you're kind of there's a love him or hate him camp, and if you love him, great. But if you hate him, you may want to watch him for various reasons, but you're not going to buy his clothing. Correct. That's why I'm wondering if it's not something else. I mean, maybe it's not apparel first. Uh, that could be. I mean, they'll have that, but maybe it's a, a a line of golf balls or or clubs or both that Taylor wants to do. Right, that's easy. They could. You know, their next I, whatever, can easily be called a Tiger Woods iron set. That's simple. And that that works because he is a great ball striker, obviously. Um, and I want the Tiger ball. And you can have Tiger talking about the ball because he can certainly is well positioned for the next 20 years to talk about golf strategy. 
golf tactics, how you do things, even though he can't execute those things like he used to be able to. So that I could see. And maybe that's what he's thinking. Are there other avenues that are not golf or tangentially related to golf that he could go with this? Uh, does it work with, here's the next big link. I mean, that I don't know that there's any avenues. Let's just leave it there. Well, Is I, it link up with TGL? That's another question. The Tomorrow yeah. Golf League. My, my Where it's always to tomorrow, is, Dark Star. It's always tomorrow at the Tomorrow Golf League. Yeah, it's always tomorrow. Right. It's yes. never today. The league is starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, exactly. Right. Exactly. Free beer uh, tomorrow. Free beer tomorrow. Anyway, I, I will say there are some avenues in the lifestyle brand that um, you're, you're catering to potentially just that upper echelon of the golf fan who's going to buy a unique head cover for the driver, uh, golf balls, tees, golf bag, golf equipment, luggage, you know, and, and you're selling those type products at such an obscene markup. I mean, I, I look at, I go in a pro shop and, and let me see, this driver head covers $125. And, and I've seen that. And so the sky's the limit on what you can charge, say, for a gift. I, I see t-shirts out there for a, a brand that I like that are $200 for a t-shirt. I think there's a pretty substantial markup on a two hundred dollar T-shirt. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, it's 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 crazy. Um, so there there are some possibilities in the short term. Now, does it run out of juice in the long term? I, I think we can both agree that long term this is not a great strategy. I think this is a filler strategy for Taylor till they can figure out what they want to do to see if they can pick up. Uh, some of that market share that Nike is going to the void that Nike is going to leave. Yeah, yeah, yes. And I Tiger, you know, I would. Well, he needs something. The, the question is, will this work? Um, if if they do ever get Tomorrow Golf League off the ground, then you know, the great free advertising for his clothing line. So it it makes sense to ha- for him to have something. So my question to you, audience, is. Uh, will it be here? Will it be available? Will it exist in 10 years when Tiger's 58 and golf, uh, the biggest golf market is 10 years older when the average golfer in the baby boom generation now is 70? So 10 years from now, they'll be 80. Yeah. It, and do you really want, let me put it this way, Dark Star. Do you really want, if you're cutting edge clothing brand right with the, the skeleton cat do you really want an 80 year old wearing your shirts because the 25 year old gonna look and say why do i want to wear a granddad's shirt yeah it's an interesting point it's a good point well taken i i, I well it ties it's just reality i mean it is what it is nobody wants to get older getting older is share famously said there's nothing good that's not the word she used there's nothing good about getting older <laughs> nothing yeah and you know that's true uh in a, in a certain way you know you hopefully are gaining wisdom and it's great to get older to watch your your kids and all that flourish but and you've gained wisdom you know things you didn't know 50 years ago but um from an athlete's point of view eh, or a actor's point of view it's mm, not ideal and you just it, it's obviously inevitable so and I will tie that, and then uh, I'll finish up my thoughts on the Sunday red. But I'll I'll tie that getting older to golf, where I think Tiger is succeeding. So let's not leave this show without giving Tiger a tip of the cap with the fossil cat on it. Uh, he is succeeding right at this red hot moment with taking over the PGA Tour, which we predicted in July. Well, predicted it could happen. You took that side that you thought it was maybe likely. I took the other side and we said, no, I think the PIF will win, and we'll see. But right now, Tiger's winning, and yeah. he is seemingly well-positioned to run the tour, which we think is his goal, so good for him. Uh, but here's the tie-in to the fossilized cat. If you're 20, and that's the audience everybody's after, give or take, right? Do you want to watch the tour, the PGA Tour, that your 77, 75, 80 year old granddad watches. Is that cool? Well, for some, maybe, you know, I get to sit with my granddad who I really like and admire and love and have a, you know, we can both have something in common and watch golf. And that's sort of been golf over the last hundred years. 
Uh, or is it uncool? Is it like, oh man, that's uh, I don't want to watch what my grandparents are watching. They're old, and I'm not old. Yeah. So it's hard to line those things up when in a different well, society. It's not the society is not the same as it was 50, 60, 80 years ago. Sure. So if if you want to watch your granddad's golf tour, or do you want to watch that other golf tour that's trying to innovate with various things that the younger people would like, music and things, and be the anti granddad's tour? So of course we're talking about live. Are they trying to be not the granddad? Yeah, I think so. Is it cool to watch Live? Is it cooler to watch Live if you're young? Well, there's a good question. So does I Tiger's brand, you, where does it belong? And that's right. There you see it. And I and I have a perspective on that because of my children's age. It is cool. It's becoming cool to watch Live. I, I'm shocked to hear that they're watching Live now. It it, it is a shocker. Uh, for example, and this is the problem the majors are going to have. I would watch the majors. We'd all get together and watch the majors. Everybody looked forward to the Masters, the U.S. Open, the Open, and, and the PGA. Uh, we're not watching the Genesis. I mean, it's just no interest. We're not talking about it. We're not watching it. I tried to watch it again last night on the replay, and, and they. the problem is instead of showing golf, they keep saying they're the greatest golf plays here. Well, I'd like to see some of that golf because I, I, I all I see are commercials and you telling me how good you are. So mm – -hmm. That, that's a problem for me. I, I Again, I couldn't watch it. And I'm trying because we do this show and we're trying to be objective. But I, you know, I was riveted to Las Vegas live and I couldn't watch the Genesis last night. It just just didn't didn't do it. Yeah. Me. And some of it's unconscious. So we'll we'll leave it there. Uh, it's some of it's unconscious. And that's what good marketing does. You know, like, wow, I really like this and I don't know why. Um, yeah. Now there's you know reasons behind why somebody would do something, but that's called advertising and positioning and branding. That's the whole game, and there's a lot of people that are in that game. And you're great, you know. I think if you're Tiger Woods launching Sunday Red, hoping it goes somewhere and is cool, because clothing needs to be cool, not not practical. You don't buy Tiger Woods Sunday Red because it's practical. They don't want to charge no. practical prices either. This isn't a Walmart brand. This is Tiger Woods, right? It's got to be cool. Well, you know, being 80 is hard to be cool. It's, it's because you're not, you're cool. You might be the coolest 80 year old in the history of earth and cool with your buddies and still feel like you're 60 or 50. Great. That's awesome. But do 20 year olds think you're cool? Yeah. No, it's, it's going to take, <laughs> they don't. it's going to, yeah. Well, here's what I, my thought, my last thought on this, it's going to take a heroic, marketing effort marketing scheme similar to when wendy's has where's the beef and you had the the pepsi and coke wars and things like that it, it's going to take something along those lines for this to survive and become mainstream because you've got to get outside the golfing market which is saturated and tiny if it's ever going to succeed amen amen dark star dr dark star i will leave saying this the we saw some uh, slogan writing from the marketing team at sunday red and it went something like this uh our brand is not for people who want a lifestyle our brand is for people who want a life oh that's so cool i can see them writing it on the whiteboard going oh that's so cool <laughs> awesome. Now, the problem with it and the reason it's getting pilloried in certain corners of social media, there's a reason for that. Because for a slogan to be awesome, for a slogan to mean something, to, to get people to buy your brand, it has to be very well anchored, if not perfectly anchored, in the truth. Duh. So when Bounty is the quicker picker-upper, uh, yeah, because that's what it does. It picks up spills and messes quicker and better than the competitor. It's the quicker picker upper. That's why that slogan's lasted 70 years and they still use it. Yeah, that's a good slogan. Uh, it's for people who want a life. What the hell does that mean? And is there any truth to it? No, there's no truth in that. You know, wear our brand because Tiger's been the greatest competitive closer, killer, assassin in sports history. Yeah, you need some words that say that, because that would be true. This, this, they're, what they're attempting to do is not based on the truth, and therefore it, it's not off to a great start. Although 
the sycophant fans will buy into it probably to some extent. And we'll have to revisit Dark Star where because we'll see yes, it. We will. uh, we'll see it. Uh, well, you tried to watch him. Did you catch any Tiger at the Genesis? Is he wearing the shirt? I assume he's wearing. He had a sweater on with the. It was actually uh, not a bad. Uh, just because it was a, I believe it was like a cream colored sweater with the. Uh, I, I want to say Kakarkas, but it's really just a fossilized tiger on it. It didn't look horrendous, but you know, it's still. It's like like I said it. It was apropos for the old man to be wearing the dead tiger. That's all I got to say. Yeah, isn't that awful? And that's that's funny, and people are going to say that. They're going to say yeah. that. It, it just doesn't line up. And this show is where, you know, rational thought lives. So which, are we tiger haters? No, we are not. So comment people, don't. Uh, don't go there. That's not what this is. We're not, I don't hate Tiger. I don't have any feelings at all about Tiger Woods. I don't feel anything about him, neither good nor bad. I, we're sitting here, t- t- you know, giving you rational thought, which is the, the stupid skeleton cat, Fossil, is not, not the right look when you're trying to do what they're trying to do uh, in our measured opinions. Right. Yeah. And, and my last thing that I will mention, I'm going to comment on your comment. Tiger, as you said, I want to play golf like Tiger. I don't necessarily want to have Tiger's life, lifestyle, what he brought to the table outside of golf in many regards. So, again, not a hating of Tiger. Just we all know the stories and what happened. So that's going to play with some people. It's not going to play with others. Yeah, and uh, and there's it's not just the the – family problems, let's call it that, the lifestyle problems and the ugly divorce and the womanizing and that stuff. It's not just that. It's also the question marks around his performance. You don't look like that when you're 48, naturally. It's not possible, okay? Yes. I have a physician right here with me, and the physician will tell you, no, that's not how body chemistry works. So no, it's not natural the way he looks period i will just uh, let me use some improper english and say it would be extremely unique (laughs) yeah right (laughs) there you go but that's certainly not for today so with that being said it's a good time for b team to be out dr dark star is out if you're a fan of the show be sure to subscribe to our new audio podcast that is where you will get topics that'll never get to youtube (laughs) And there are a lot of those that we like to talk about that'll never make it to YouTube. So uh, look in the description below for the link over to Substack. That's where you can subscribe to the podcast. And thank you again for being a fan.